Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. Hope it all went well. Hope you had a cracking one. I uh, had a few bevies, had a couple of drinks, had a great time, had a boogie, had a kebab, went to bed. <laughs> right, today's video is a bit of a different video. It's a little bit of a look back of 2019, a look forward to 2020, and uh, a few thank yous thrown in, and a few other little bits of information. So, uh, don't miss it. So, first and foremost, I want to say a massive, huge thank you to all my subscribers and all my viewers that take the time to watch my videos, comment on my videos, like them, give them a thumbs up, thumbs down, you know, share them. I really appreciate it. And without any of any of you watching or subscribing, I wouldn't be here talking to you now. And I wouldn't have done half the things I've done or um, half the things I'm going to do in the past year and in the upcoming year. Um so yeah from the bottom of my heart i really do mean it thank you ever so much for watching and subscribing and you know i really do appreciate it before before i look back on 2019 of everything i did and everything the channel did and things like that i really want to say thanks to three people before that i do believe that if these three weren't as instrumental as they were I wouldn't be here right now. I wouldn't be at the stage I'm at and doing the things I'm doing. The first first person I want to thank is Stuart from Prepared to Cook and Survive. A lot of you have met Stuart um, in, in my videos and actually we, we was all out together at the uh, Bug Out Meetup just before Christmas and the van life has all piled in and all the Bug Out guys all pug, piled in. So, you know, he was there. Um, he really way back when in you know 2018 i had my channel but i didn't really post anything to it i had one the main, one main video and he was really pushing me like you should do this you should do this you should really get out there you really need to put your videos up you really need to make some videos and he was really positive and supportive and really did encourage me to to do youtube because of what i'm doing and the experience i'm gaining and the knowledge i have just uniquely from doing what I'm doing, he said that you know you really need to get out there and do it. So he's one of the, he is the one that really pushed me to do YouTube. So I really appreciate that, Stu. Um, and boy, is he a banging cook. I mean, you've seen if you've seen some of my videos, I'll link my video, uh, my video of his birthday meet up, and that was an epic cook. And I'll link his channel and some of his videos down below because he's starting on his own YouTube journey now. He's been doing it for a while, but showing, you know, going, doing his, what he loves to do, which is, you know, go out in the woods and cook. He, he loves to cook around a campfire. So if I can support him anyway, then I'm, I'm really going to do that because he supported me and pushed me. The next person I want to thank is Rich from Bug Out Vehicles UK. Now I knew Rich before I had a YouTube channel. I used to go out camping with Stuart and we all used to go out in 4x4s camping before before I even had the motorhome. So I've known Rich a long time. I've known Stuart a long time. And yeah, we, we're all good mates. And he was been on YouTube a long time. I think he's, he's like five plus years now. And he's built a great channel. He's got hundreds of videos. I'm sure he's got at least 200 videos. But he, he was giving me hints, tips and advice about YouTube, about my videos, about what, what I can do, how I can do this and how to how to work this and that. And just giving me ideas and getting the juices flowing. So, you know, from Stuart's start, pushing me to start and then Rich, you know, giving me hints and tips and advice um, really did help me. It really did help me. And, um, yeah, again, I'm really appreciative of it and uh, I can't thank him enough for it. The third person I want to thank, and it's, I feel, I mean, call it whatever you want, a bromance, whatever. Uh, it's just like, I haven't known him long, but it feels like I've known him forever. He's a really good mate now. And that's Gadget John. Also known as John. But, yeah, I always call him Gadget John. That's his name, Gadget John. Um... He invited me, to, he sent me an email and invited me to uh, a YouTube meetup just in May, I think it was May last year. 
uh, yeah, May 2019. And it would have been just as I land back from Thailand. And I spoke to Stuart about it. And he he said, you've got to do it. Nothing can stop you. you just got to do it. You can't not go to this. This is people of your community, you know. Because I was still very new on YouTube. I mean, at, I mean if we look at 20, 2018 stats, up to the 31st of December 2018, I had 892 subscribers, 38,000 views, and nine videos. That's all I had. So, um, I had a few more when uh, Gadget John sent me an email saying, would I like to come to um, a meet-up and camp uh, this little campsite that he's picked and meet some other YouTubers. And man, my head almost exploded because I thought, oh, I've been invited to something, I can't believe it. This is amazing. This is amazing. It almost exploded, and then I told Stuart, and he's like, "You've got to do it. You've got to do it. You can't not." Even though, you know, you've, you're traveling straight back. I literally landed at Heathrow from Thailand from three weeks in Thailand, picked up my motorhome in Reading, and then drove drove halfway, slept that night, and then the next night I was straight up there and at the meetup. I had never met anyone at this meetup. Uh, um, it was called Camp Gadget. So I just turned up. And I know they say, I know it's quite cliche to say, but the rest is history. Um, we've been on tons of meetups now throughout this, throughout 2019. Um, I've been to his house, I've stayed on his driveway, we've been, we go out for meals. We've, and he has introduced me to so many people from that one meetup, I cannot say how thankful I am. And how much that has changed my entire game and changed everything i'm not the best with words like actually how to explain things but and i can't quite can't quite grasp the words to, to put but from that meetup it it was just like an explosion because i met mevy i met dave i met camper van tails i met Oh, there's so many people from that one meetup, you know, it just then kept growing and growing and growing because of that. And yeah, like I say, I mean, we're like, I mean, I, I, we're good, really good mates. We're always texting and sending videos and what do you think of this and when we're going to do that and what we're going to do this. And yeah, and I've, I've not even, not even known him and him and Mandy, his wife, a year yet. And it feels like I've known him forever, which is amazing. And I, I would like to just put that out there that people, you just go to these meetups, you know, not just, I mean, I, that was classed as a little YouTube meetup because we all had a little YouTube channel. That was nothing special. There was nothing, you know, it was just we could all hang out and we've got one common, we've got two common things. We, we do videos and we live in vans. Um, or we do a lot of van stuff, and so now I know this. I know people from the meetups that I've been to and the meetups that we've had this year uh, in 2019. People are starting to f f uh, fraction off and go on their own little meetups and their own little crews, which is amazing. And that's what I'm talking about. Going to these little meetups, and you know, you might go there, you might be nervous as shit, you might be, you know, balls to the wall, scared. You're not a person that talks to people often. You feel nervous and anxious and all this and that going to these kind of things. But just go. The upside, the potential upside of coming to these meets and meeting new people, game changer. Absolute game changer. And I actually wrote that on on here John he's flipping awesome and he's a game changer I wrote that I wrote that there you know because I'm making notes of everything I want to write speak about in this video and he introduced me to so many new people which I all na I now call friends I've got so many new friends and I haven't known them even a year yet so I mean I'm waffling on but I <laughs> I can't, I can't explain it any more than that. Really, it's just amazing. They're the main. I really want to say thank you to. So, thanks, lads. I really appreciate it. So, a recap of 2019 for my channel. I gained 13,000 
400 subscribers in that one year 1.2 million views uh, I made 47 videos and my videos have been watched approximately 130,000 hours which equates to about 14 and a half years and if that doesn't just wreck your mind like it wrecks mine I don't know what will I mean sure there's people out there they've got million million subscriber channels and all this and that and that is incredible and a, a feat in itself but to go from 892 subscribers at the end of 2018 to over 14 I've got over 14,000 subscribers in the end of 2019 I'm just overwhelmed and thankful and just can't thank everyone enough what's 2020 looking like well 2020 we are currently in talks and planning about a few of our own meetups can't really go into detail can't say dates can't say what can't say when or where but we had a meet up last year and it worked really well and we're going to try and do a meet up if we can this year so stay tuned for more information about that as soon as we know you will know and that will be brilliant. They are going to be epic. Um, I've got Camp Quirky. That's going to be amazing. Yes, I am definitely on Quirky. I've got my tickets. And I'm going to be on it like a fat kid on cake. <laughs> uh, I've got food festivals. I've got one booked in already. I've got Meetopia booked in already. Um, there is That's going to be in Tobacco Docks in London in September. Uh, I've got Wingfest penciled in. That's in London as well. But I haven't got dates or tickets for that yet. So I do want to go to both of them. If there is any more massive meat festivals, food festivals, drop them in the comments below because I'm on them. Um, I would like to do a mini tour of the country. Not like top to bottom or anything. It would probably only be about a week to 10 days long. I've got a few ideas for that kind of for the kind of tour I want to do. And it's not going to be your typical beauty spot location tour. It's going to be a bit of a twist. You know, it's going to be uh it's going to be me. Uh again, because I've got so many meetups planned and festivals and things like that and holidays, I'm really limited to the amount of time I can take off work. Um I can take unpaid leave here and there, but Obviously, I'm not getting paid, and I have got things I need to get paid for to, to do for the future. So, that's what limits me at the moment. Um, so, I want to do the mini tour. If it's possible, I would like to, to nip over to France and see what I can do over there. I don't think I'm going to get further, because again, I'll probably only go for about a week to ten days. So, it would just be to get a taster of, you know, going across, across the water and uh, across to Europe. If I can, then I'd like to you know, do that. If I can announce it or something, I don't know if I'll go alone or if I'll go with a few people. I'm not sure. It's not penned in yet. It's what I would like to do this year. Um, what is penned in is uh, I'm going to go Turkey. Uh, me and a few friends, we're all going to go out to Turkey for two or three weeks in October. End of September, October. So, a lot of my holidays going on that. Um, what else have we got going on? First off, is I've got I'm currently building my own website, so that will be coming before the end of the month is out. The website will be up and running, and it'll be a progressive build as it goes along. And I'm going to be adding articles and you know transcribing my videos and things like that, and adding pictures and here there and everywhere and i'm gonna make a page for the meetups of not just what ones i'm going to but all meetups so if anyone's got dates and i names and know of all the meetups that there is in the in this kind of you know genre that we're in this niche our community drop them in the comments below and give me as much detail as you can any links and then I'm going to put them on the website so then everyone can then go there and see all the meetups in one in one spot. Um, 
so yeah the website's coming i've been testing merch merchandise like hoodies and t-shirts and everything i've got some more being uh sent to me in the next week or two and i just want to make sure everything's perfect before i then say right i'm going to do an order for people if they want to buy something i don't know if anyone wants to buy anything you know i'm not out to make money on it i'm just out to put my name out there and spread the channel and let people buy a t-shirt or a hoodie yeah i haven't got i haven't got an issue with the quality or anything i'm just double checking the fit and the feel and everything because i'm working with uh steve he's a he's a local guy he owns yowzers signs and graphics and he does amazing stuff so he's in milton Keynes. so if anyone's looking for stuff then you know just type him in i'll leave a link below uh, so yeah, that's going to be coming. Merch will be coming, and it'll be available on the website and on the YouTube channel. And lastly, 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 not announcing anything major right now. There will be announcements coming, but it's about my health and about my health and fitness. Now, I'm quite shocked to be honest and thankful that. As so many of you out there, viewers, care about my health and my weight, and you don't say things, you know, there's the odd, the odd jerk, don't get me wrong, there's always going to be, but um, the amount of you that comment with pure, sincere kindness and, you know, thoughtfulness about my health and you want me to, you know, don't have run into problems and you want me to just, you know, take it easy you know, nip the Pepsi in the in the bud, and nip the fizzy drinks in the bud, and you know, just look after myself a bit more. And I really do appreciate all that because I I could quite easily get a lot of comments in in the negative uh, direction, but I don't. I get a lot of love and a lot of positivity, like I say, which I'm very very grateful for. So I am going to be changing things, and I am going to be getting healthier and fitter. It's not going to be a quick fix i'm not putting any deadlines any goals like any weight loss goals or anything there will be some targets which will be coming in an upcoming video and in an out and in an announcement when things are finalized but i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to make maybe a monthly update because i don't want to fill this channel with my weight loss or anything like that so there'll be maybe a monthly update a month behind so you will see me hopefully getting even better looking than normal <laughs> um throughout the month and then the end of the month there'll be a uh, a recap of what i've done how it's gone and what i'm striving towards and how it's changing so it's all in hand and yeah i appreciate all the love and support that you give me so that is it basically that is my 2019 my 2020 a few thanks to some very awesome guys and even bigger thanks to all my subscribers and my viewers you lot are amazing you keep me entertained with the comments and just keep leaving comments and anything you do want to see any videos that you want you know even bigger future videos you'd like to see drop me an email drop me a message on Instagram or in the comments below and uh yeah i'm happy to happy to help where i can and uh yeah i love you all and i can't thank you all enough you are amazing and here is to a awesome rocking kick-ass banging that's what she said 2020 let's do it shall we